Hello everyone, Silent here, and welcome back to another Truly Bad Rock live stream here on Twitch. Tonight we're going to be working on some more storage technology for the farming area of bases. And welcome, welcome everybody. We got Hanny Burger being the very first person here in chat. Hiccup, hello, Jam on some toast to Flamin, Ash, the meme duck, and Milk Dud Banquet, Six Point to Knowledge, Exciting Mage, and Water Alec, uh, Dr. Ketchup, that Eve, along with game Gamer Person, Natalie, Gambit, Omega. Mega and Monkey MP4. I love your name. <laughs> Ice Shards, Johnny Appleseed. We got Dottie Man and Infinite, Jaxie Jaxie. And is there three Jaxies? Jaxie Jaxie Jaxie. I see how it is. Uh, we got Charlie and Elias, Zero, Skullface, Dope Finger, and Spector. Uh, the real Kaz, hello, hello. Longhorn, welcome back again. And many others. Hello, everybody. Let's switch over to the game, shall we? Because we got stuff we got to do tonight. We got to wrap up the projects. Many, many, many projects. Indeed. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm being proactive. I'm repairing my tools before the stream starts. Well, technically during the stream. Uh, during the, the pre-intro the pre -intro, uh, stuff and things. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to wrap up getting these tools repaired so we can have a fully shiny set of armor. And then we are going to finish tying in all of the different farms to our storage system. I released a brand new episode of Truly Bedrock today. So, of course, go watch that if you haven't, you big silly. Yeah. Okay, I think we are pretty much ready to get into it. More or less, we may as well just jump straight into it. No time to waste! We got, we got to get going. 1.17 is releasing, like, way sooner than anybody expected. Hermitcraft 7's coming to an end. Panic mode! <laughs> I got to make some announcements for our uh, community servers regarding restarts. It's panic mode for the new update, more or less, if you haven't realized. Because 117 is uh, getting very, very close. Now, on that note... Um, but I guess I'll, I'll get to talking to that more in a second. We are going to start by tying in all four of the slime farms to the storage system. I forgot that we had slime farms. Uh, in fact, that one's actually busy killing slimes. I've, I forgot that we built slime farms and we have a storage system with a spot for slime in it. So we're going to dump in all the slime farms right, right there. Yeah, it'll be great. I love it. <laughs> Name a gold sword banana. I can do that. I appreciate you. We're gonna grab the redstone box. And we shouldn't have everything else that we need. Is that enough ice? Is it too much ice? Is it too little ice? Ooh, questions. We gotta figure out where we want this uh, to even go in at. Oh, is that directly over the backside of a... Uh, it is, okay. Hmm. So let's go ahead and bring up the slime farm like right here so we're gonna stand at 334 1271 can you guys remember that for me <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh 334-1271 that's what we're doing tree tree four seven seven one three three four twelve seventy one i'm bad at remembering numbers Tree Tree Force 1271. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna write that down. I can't trust you guys. Tree Tree Force 1271. Yeah. Anyway, so back onto the topic at hand. Uh, 117 is getting very, 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 very close. And how we know this is that they have, of course, just been, you know, making a lot of a lot of good stuff in the in the recent betas and whatnot. Betas and snapshots. But even more important than that, they just canceled some features from Java Edition 117. Uh, because, I believe, because those features are not available on Bedrock Edition. So, candles and bundles got canceled on Java. Oh, hey, look at that. It actually produces slime. I had no idea. Now, we haven't heard anything about candles or bundles on Bedrock and the slightest. And I think that they canceled it on Java because it's not ready to be produced for Bedrock. That would be my hunch. No idea if that's the case or not. But I, I think that that might be why. Because we, we haven't seen those features at all. But also, like, candles? Come on. How hard are candles to add? Seriously, you gotta take away our candles. God dang it. 
I want my candles. Ah, everyone is upset about candles more than bundles. <laughs> Nobody cares about bundles. Like, give us our candles, man. We want candles. Candles are great. B Dubs is all upset about candles. Jesse B is all upset about candles. I'm upset about candles. Everybody wants candles. Everybody wants candles. So yeah, that's that's kind of my theory. Uh, so I think 117 is probably going to be definitely within the next month or so. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a get a pre-release in the next couple of weeks. Everybody wants candles. Butterflies wants candles. Yeah, I approve. Candles are great. How on a scale of one to ten, how much do you guys want candles? <laughs> I would say at least eleven, for for myself personally. Didn't I have droppers? I put that away. Oh, I mined some redstone. I can make some more droppers. Convenience. Now that's a natural resource harvesting. A two? How dare you, JJ? Eleven, a ten, a seven, an eight, a ten, a two, a ten bajillion. Another ten. Yeah, see, candles are great. Mojang. We need to make a petition. Mojang. Don't worry about bundles. Nobody cares. However, you take away our candles. <laughs> oh, that's a big mistake. <laughs> Ow, that floor hurts. I need some more hoppers over here. Rather be able to change the color of sea lanterns? That's another thing. Colored lighting. We really need that in the world. The world of colored lighting is sparsely populated. It's got one inhabitant. His name is Torch. He's a cool dude, but, you know, there's not much representation for the peoples of the world and the, <laughs> and the light spectrum of Minecraft. <laughs> oh, jeez. 42. Yeah, the 40. Yeah, definitely. That's how much you want candles. Oh, hi, slimes. Anyway, so what was our numbers again? His name is John Cena. <laughs> yeah, that's also acceptable. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to put this up a layer. I guess I'm fine doing it at bedrock. Whatever. Unless there's lava above this. Which, you know, probably is. <laughs> 3, 3, 4, 12, 71. Hey, you guys actually did remember that. Look at that. Thank you. I was testing your memory. 33, 12. Oh, Ash, you were so close. Some of you were very much correct, though. Thank you. You guys are great. So maybe I can trust you. Right, 334, 12, 7, 1. So we gotta go a couple more blocks this way. Ah! Okay. Let's just go ahead and put that back there. Boop. Where's this lava at? I know it's right there, but I'm trying to find the source of lava. Mm, yeah, I don't really want you there. No, that's my hopper. Okay, so there's a slime farm very close to here. I'm building out of gravity blocks. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> uh, thanks for all the biddies, Dom Dad. You're crazy. Also, cow, je cow jelly. Thank you for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy all of your lovely pig emotes. I know you're more of a fan of cows, but try out the pigs. Try the pig. It's great. Is there lava behind that? Ooh, no, there's lava maybe above it. Or over there, even. Oh, jeez. See, this is why underground is terrible. Also, they just added, like, aquifers. Lava aquifers. In uh, today's beta. So we're going to have a whole lot more of this going forward in the future. What is up with that? We got lava and water touching. That's not, that's not allowed. Maybe I can trust you. Famous last words. Yeah. That's always that's always a thing, isn't it? Okay, literally just like two more blocks. Ooh, hi. Dang it. <laughs> I made a cobblestone generator. There. Oh. Hold on. What key, what key is that? Seven? There we go. No! That, okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, there. Oop. I fixed it. 12, 7, 1. Okay, now we gotta turn that. Hey, okay, lava. D. 
deal with you first. We went too far. Oh, hi, more lava. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, jeez. Zero, what are you doing? Don't be starting a bit war. Like three seconds into the stream. As I'm dying to the lava, what are you, cheese? You're crazy. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, but thank you so much for the biddies. Party launchers. Oh, now that's something that we haven't had before. Is uh, rockets get named? Very nice. I like it. I approve. I approve of this message. I can do that, and I will do that. That'll be our next stack of rockets. We only got like 35. We'll probably go through those this stream. I approve. Very nice. Uh, you did get Zloy to a level 5 hype train to spend 20 minutes on a Tuesday? Or on Tuesday? Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Hype trains are the most r random, irregular things on the planet. Oh, we got another slime farm right here. That's right. Uh, I think what we need to do is we need to take the output from this farm and this farm. We need to send it up like right here. Like, some days we'll have nothing happening, and that's perfectly fine. And then some days we'll have, like, everything happen all at once. Oh, hi, look at that, another x-ray. There's some diamonds over there. Is that legal? <laughs> uh, that's in a lava thing, though. That's full of lava. Oh, now, now you decide to take damage. Am I drowning? What's happening? <laughs> I didn't get any screenshots of that one. Hold on. Take a seat, James. No, no bit wars. Stop it. Uh, I will take a picture of it with the diamonds. <laughs> There's more slimes over there. That one is in the hole that we just dug. Ow! <laughs> uh, every single stream that we've done this, we found another x-ray. I, I don't try to find these x-rays, I swear. But it does make for some really great second channel thumbnails. I swear, all the videos with the x-ray thumbnails do better than all the other ones. <laughs> oh, we're too far over. Oh, we gotta go back like five blocks. Hold on. Let's get the coordinates. I know I'm gonna dig down to the lava, but like... It's just how it works. Let's let's make it right here. Let's get... Oh, I don't have any wa'a. No wa'a. Hold on. Emergency situation. That's packed ice. It's still packed ice. I need my wa'a. Give me my bucket. And boop, there we go. And now I need some built-in blocks. There we go. Oh, I need some I need some food too. <laughs> Yay! Inventory organization. Uh we got more bits. Hold on, what's happening over here? We got Dom of Thousy a thousand. A thousand? <laughs> Zero of a thousand and one. Exerting their dominance. Dom with a thousand and two saying take a seat. Zero with a thousand and three saying they're already sitting. You crazy mad lads. Stop it. Hey, there's lava. This is gonna be a bubble column anyway, so I don't really care. Actually, the water is kind of convenient. We need to go down to Le Bedrock. Uh, we also got Year again subscribing with Prime for three months. Thank you so much. Why are you saying thanks to me? I'm saying thanks to you. What are you doing? We're thanking each other. This is great. I approve. I approve of this message. It's paid for and sponsored by the Soylents. More thousands. <laughs> No! Stop it. I've said it once, I'll say it again. <laughs> oh, jeez. No! We got a thousand ninety-eight! <laughs> this is all you got left. Or the husband may see that you spent too much. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> You're crazy. Thank you so much, though. Insanity. Ridiculous. No, don't be encouraging them, James. 
cheese. I'm getting your popcorn. What was I saying about hype trains? Uh, I was saying that sometimes there's just nothing. And then sometimes, like, you don't even get the stream started yet. Like, I'll still be in the intro. And sometimes it's like, ah, oh, level five. It's like, what the hell? You guys are very indecisive sometimes. It's like, out of the blue. It just, like, happens. I don't know, man. Do you guys, like, organize this kind of thing? Or, like, what do you do? Sometimes, I swear, it seems like you organize these things. <laughs> You got like a little secret discord like okay today we're gonna do this don't do anything for like a week and then bam blarg blah, blah, blah. i don't know it's all silly you're all weird what are we doing we are currently messing about underground as as we've been doing for the past little while now and we are trying to tie together all of the slime farms into the storage system. Uh, currently, all the slime farms are just putting into a chest, and that's not really particularly helpful. So we're trying to get all of these dudes to put their things into something not a chest. Which means that we need a significant amount of storage technology to get those items from that chest up to another chest. <laughs> Change of plan. Plan B, plan B. <laughs> uh, oh no, we got a thousand, thousand ninety nine from zero. Uh, here's part of your 1099 form for this year. No. <laughs> uh, I think I always get 60 on bedrock. I'm not sure if you can change your FPS or, or not. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I always get max. Maximum frames. Maximum frameage. Uh, I guess we'll just use packed ice for this. Is this packed ice? Yes. 10.99. Yeah, I guess it, it, I don't know anything about taxes. I guess it is a 10.99 miss. I should know this. I just did taxes. <laughs> or did I? Kappa. <laughs> uh, so where's the item dropper for this one? It should be, should be over here. We should have a chest. Where's my chest? Oh, is it on the opposite side? Oh, of course it is. The side further away, naturally. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wow, this one's got a lot of slime. Oh, it's got so much slime. And a spider. I approve. This one's working overtime. All the other ones are slackers. Oh, right. How are we going to do that, though? This is completely surrounded by bedrock. I guess we can make that shoot into a block, and then it'll go up. Yes, yeah, so we have a dropper right there facing forward and into bedrock. Okay, that sounds annoying. Yeah, I try to read all the chat. Uh, Gimme's dead? <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying your name right. That is why I try not to pronounce names. Because I will just butcher it. Okay, that website that says I'm 51 literally says that literally everyone on there is 51. Uh, so don't, like, trust it or anything. Hey, that one's got a lot of slime too. Sweet. Let's grab all these random blocks. Uh, that, that filled up my inventory. Is Sky Factory over? I guess so. Um, I don't know. I probably should do one more on there. Just call it a formal end. But yeah, we haven't done any of that since March 31st, is, it turns out. Or sometime around there. Can I? Oh, I put away my packed ice. Of course I did. Let's see. Let's make another crafting table. Crafting. Uh, we'll just put that down right here. So yeah, the slime farms actually do work. <laughs> I had no idea. I haven't checked these since I built it. Since I built it. Yeah, I do the English real well tonight. Boop. And I guess we'll go drop off the inventory again. Every time I stream 20 minutes later, Zoe streams. He has a changed changed his, his uh, streaming schedule. So yeah, now we stream about the same time. So the last two streams on the Tuesday... Wait. What day is it? Thursday? On Monday and Tuesday, uh, we raided him because you know, he was streaming at the same time that we ended. So that's convenient. Okay, this one's got a lot of slime. 
Let's put that right there. I wonder how much uh, is inside the hoppers as well. Do you think that hopper minecarts full up? That'd be really cool if it was. I wonder why this one's more efficient than the other ones. Maybe it's not more efficient, but it definitely has more. Uh, we can't really break that block to get access to the hopper. So let's turn off of that. And then we'll... Yeah, see, look at that. It does have a bunch in it. Fantastic. Okay, well, it's really good. I like this farm the, the best. You know what it probably is? We named this farm before we named any of the other ones. So it's got that special charisma boost, which helps it produce an, an extra 10% drops. Really helps out long term. Uh, I have no, no idea what Zoe's time zone is, but Russia, whatever, whatever time of day or night that is. It's always nigh impossible to, to schedule of Zoe. <laughs> Luckily, that man has the worst sleep, sleep schedule on the entire planet, because uh, otherwise no one would ever be able to play with him. Like, he, he basically acts like he's in US time or uh, Europe time. So he, like, sleeps at, like, 5 in the morning. Which is about my which is about my sleep schedule, now that I think about it. <laughs> well, no, he's more than 8 hours because uh, Europe is 8 hours ahead of me, ahead of Pacific time. Uh, it's five hours ahead of Eastern. And there's a bunch of different time zones in Europe. But generally, GMT is eight hours. Anyway, Mr. Zloy is several hours ahead of that even. So it's, it's a very awkward amount of time. I think it's 13 hours. Something like that. Crazy. Mother Russia, yes. <laughs> Uh, no, I want that and that and that and that. I do not want the string. And I do not want any of this other stuff. And I do not want that. Uh, I want the ice. Do we not have lay ice? We have ice. Okay, great. And I take the repeaters and the comparators and the hoppers and the droppers and the redstone dust. And I'll use uh, good old andesite polished for my belly blocks. Sounds good to me? Okay, cool. Let's get it done. Uh, this one first. So let's put our redstone right here. Doesn't really matter where it goes. And we're gonna do... I always forget how to build this, but it's such a simple thing to build. Boop. Oh, lucky for us, there is bedrock everywhere that we don't need to build. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, that needs to be on... Wow, it's got another three stacks in it. Wow. I can't make that sound, but you guys know the sound alert that I'm trying to imitate. Wow. See, these slime farms were worth it. We got a bunch of slime. And we'll just go ahead and put a wall of source right here. Uh, we need to put a block above that eventually, but we will come back to that later. So we have a wall of source there as well. Actually, ooh, that's going to be a tricky one. We're going to have to... All of the... Hmm, how do we want to do this? So, so that's fine. Items will slide across of that. Going into wall of there. And then that'll be fine. This is not going to be fine. Ooh, how are we going to do that? Ooh. We're going to have to have a wall of source there going across, and that'll reach. Okay, good. <laughs> Name the slime farm Ikigubi. I believe all four of them have been named. 
Also, we got a bunch of more notifications. Thank you to all of our recent followers. We got Survivor, Lightning Demon, Coolio. I like saying Coolio. We got Rich the Kid. Uh, the... Theosic? I'm not sure how to say your name. We got Lala Man and Havker, along with a couple others, such as Sheriff and Fire Monkey, Twitch with no name, and Rohill, Pro Truly, Hank, and Spelt Wrong, Duon, and also Cosm Jr., and Beef. Thank you so much for the follows, everybody. Okay, we do have a word ban. Let's look at that real quick. Oh, I'm not allowed to say the word slime farm for five minutes. Alrighty, starting the next five minutes, not allowed to say slime farm. Fair enough. Can I say the word slime and the word farm, but not the word slime farm? Oh god, it's like that one... <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure if I can reference this, but it's like that one uh, South Park episode. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. Oh, God. Hey, we got Dan Bigby, subscriber for nine months. Jeez, thank you so much. You're crazy. Nine months. You are getting very, very, very near a year. Insanity. Thank you so much for the long-term support. Oh, that one's got bedrock. Ooh. Ooh, how are we gonna do that? Ooh. We're gonna have to power that block. Ooh. Oh, now that's tricky. Oh, now that's real tricky. Ooh. How are we gonna do that? Ooh. Uh, there's no way to read from it. Unless we... Okay, no, we can read from right here. Does it read through bedrock? It does. Okay, and then we'll have to power this block. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is getting tricky. So we can take a redstone power from there. We can just barely do this. Yeah, we can just barely make this happen. Mm, that needs to be a repeater. And then that needs to be a repeater as well. <laughs> Look at that. You gotta use the bedrock to your advantage. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. Is that actually gonna work? Oh, no. All the items are gonna go in there, aren't they? Wait, where did, where did that go? Because I didn't pick that up. Uh, oh, it's not... Mm, can I do that? It's too fast for the dropper. Aww. Oh, rips. Uh, you have to have a block below the ice. Uh, yeah, please don't advertise in chat. Please read the stream rules. Thank you, especially if that's your first ever message here. You did not get the notification and you do not approve. Sadness. I'm sorry for your loss. But hi, you're here now. It's gonna go into that block? Where are these blocks going? Is my question. They're going backwards. And of course they're not getting picked up by the hopper because why would they? That doesn't make any sense. Um, so that's just not gonna work then. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just not gonna work. I think we gotta, we're probably gonna move it to this end. Oh, of course there's a lot of bedrock over here too. This is at least less bedrock. <laughs> So let's uh, let's put the dropper like right here. Oh no, oh no, how much bedrock is there? We're just at a very bad level to do this. 
Hmm. Is this workable? As long as we can have it face upwards, I can work with whatever, whatever Minecraft throws at me. I think that's that's more workable than what we had before. Yeah. It's a very very awkward bedrock placement with the last one, and then the the items don't go where they probably should. So even less, <laughs> even less goodness. Uh, actually, we can do that right there. Boop boop. Use that bedrock as part of the circuit. Time to break the bedrock. Yes, I shall stay here for three minutes and punch this to death. <laughs> Did I break my word ban? Because I forgot about my word ban, but it's about to end. <laughs> I'm going to assume I didn't break my word ban. Slime farm. Mm, so it's going to go there. Uh, do, 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 and then do and do. And we'll just make it have like three hoppers. We'll do that so it doesn't uh, power more things than it needs to. Hi. And rail. Other rail, uh, mine cart. Boop. There we go. Okay, that's that's a whole bunch of silly. <laughs> uh, I'll take back all of these. Thank you. And then we got to get rid of all of these hoppers over here. Hi again. Let me guess. The mine cart picked up some of the power bail. Yes, it did. Hmm. I don't have enough prismarine to make this work. Redstone is complicated, okay? This is why you don't do redstone on stream. I thought I learned my lesson in the past, but I have not. Again, I don't just make my mistakes once. I gotta make them at least five, six times. Properly make sure that it's, uh, you know, a proper mistake. Okay, well, these ones over here should be working. I didn't set up the auto-dropper for that one over there, did I? So I will fix that momentarily and get that installed. And I came over here for Prismarine. You thought it was no math on stream? There's many things that you shouldn't do on stream. Math, redstone, improv, And a lot of other things. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna move? Oh no, because of course you uh you went the wrong direction. That's right. Naturally. Oh jeez, okay. Uh, give me back my other powered rail. We need that one right there. Oh now both of those are turned in the wrong direction. Okay, so wait. Place that there, then place that there. There then then replace that. Yay. Now what's up with you? Why did you come back? Are you good? You're good. <laughs> uh right, so that's gonna be I think we can just do that with redstone. Okay. Yeah, we could have just raised it a block, but there's no fun in that. We like things to be difficult around here. That way we can overcome the challenges. So it's no fun if it's easy. Whoop. I need some blocks. <laughs> Uh, as for iron farms, I just made a video on basically everything that you need to know about iron farms. So, if you got any questions, it's most likely answered in that video. Uh, whether it's not working, or different mechanics of iron farms, or 
pretty much anything like that. I, I, I go over everything in that, de in that video in detail for your convenience. I'm out of blocks again. Oh, jeez. You know, some things just really shouldn't take that long, and then some things really do take a very long time. Just for no actual reason. But at least it's working. You can see we got a whole stockpile of slime over there. Do I have any more prismarine? I don't. That's fine. We're not going to worry about that. That's a problem for later. Oh, you can go on the far lands. That was really fun, actually. That's something that I actually greatly enjoy doing. It's probably one of the funnest videos I've made. Or one of the videos I've had the, the most fun doing. Uh, we used the nether portal bug to go to the far lands twice, actually. I made a bug rock on it, and then I went to the far lands and truly bedrock as well. Oh god. Too many slimes. It would really suck to have to fight, like... A million baby slimes. Oh god, especially like a million baby magma cubes, because those ones actually do damage to you. Oh, that'd be terrible. They're so adorable, but at the same time, they're terrifying. <laughs> it's one of my greatest fears in life. I hope I never have to face it. So this one's going to be a little bit slower, but it's fine. I think I'm gonna have the, let's see, where should the next water be? It doesn't really matter. I can have the next water be just about anywhere. Don't have any buttons, I threw in buttons, okay. So yeah, we'll have the next water source be somewhere in this area and we'll just have the dropper be right there. Oh hi, look at that water, or er, lava. Definitely wasn't my fault. I had nothing to do with that. Let me guess. Oh, yes. See, I'm prepared for it. I had blocks on the hotbar and everything. Oh, there's more. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, lava. Check my Twitter. I have so many Twitter DMs. I am very bad at replying to Twitter DMs. It's not a good place to contact me. So magma farm is next then. I already got a magma farm tutorial. There's really no reason to farm them though. Uh, they're they're pretty naff. There's there's not really a, any specific reason to farm them. Uh, just get a blaze farm and get a magma. Or sorry, get a blaze farm and get a slime farm. Those are the two things that you need and then you'll never ever ever need a magma cube farm. Pretty much. Okay, well that's gonna work. See, that's, that's how long it should take. That's, that's how easy it should be to do these things. But sometimes it's just like, nah. There's difficulties. We're gonna cover up all of that. We're gonna pretend like none of that exists. Boop. Cover up that as well. I'll take my crafting table back. Never leave a crafting table behind. Just betray the trust of the crafting table. They'll never forgive you. And then when you need them most, they won't be there for you. Okay, that is a three out of four. You tried the nether portal trick and got to 56,000 before you gave up, but you got so far. It's, uh, it's exponential gains. Once you get that far out, because the time's by eight. So you would have been... Uh, 400,000 blocks out the next run that you got. Also, thank you, Safari, for the word ban. I'm going to take all your points. Num, num, num. And we got a wardrobe change from RB. I like it. Let's go ahead and do... Let's do one from this skin pack. I like this one. We haven't used this one in a while. It's a uh, normal pig but wearing a <laughs> upgraded pig mask. 
It's like old school pig elf wearing a new school pig elf mask. It's kind of cool. I like it. Okay, last one. Let's go ahead and block off that wall. And block off that wall. <laughs> the red wall. See, what do we got for bedrock? Nothing we shouldn't be able to work with. Boop, boop. And we'll need to have repeat of there. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Oh, yeah, that might be a little bit difficult to work around. Will that work? <laughs> Uh, no, because it needs to go down the side, like that. Wow, that's way more slime than I thought it would be. <laughs> These things work great, by the way. <laughs> I guess because we've been doing so many water streams over here recently, uh, we've been getting a lot of slime. That, that must explain it. Like, we probably gotta be down here in this area to get slime, but if we are down here in this area, they are gonna be cranking the slime. That's great. Look how much of that is. Get in my inventory. They just do not want to get in my inventory. Ridiculous. Okay, then. Uh, so that's that project more or less done. We just gotta hook that into the actual storage system itself. Bats should drop wings for levitation potions. That'd be kind of cool. It would give them a use. Give them a drop. Yeah, sure. Why not? I can agree with that. My day has been great. Thanks for asking. Mr. Ryland. Uh, okay, so now all of that's just piling up over there. I don't want to pick that up. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. <laughs> uh, we got Aletha Prime raiding us with 13 people. Hello there. Thank you so much for the raid and welcome raiders. How you doing tonight? We are working on some slime farms so we basically got four of these things and we're tying them all together into uh the storage system because we have not been dealing with these guys at all so we got a lot of slime down here that's just been kind of sitting here the whole time unoccupied getting up to mischievous things so we are just about finished up with this actually and then we're gonna move on to doing some other storage things as well but how was your stream alitha Unoccupied slime is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Never leave your slime unoccupied. You gotta keep your eyes on that slime. Whoop. Okay. So, we need literally one soul sand. The ability to find that in our storage system. Hey, there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was fine. Doo -doo -doo. It went well. You moved the Guardian in preparation for the HDWGH advancement. How did we get here? Ooh, that's a fun one. Uh, an Elder Guardian. Oh, I've done that before. Oh, that is, that is a pain and a half. Nice. Yeah, that's really fun. I did that stuff on uh, on Legacy Console. <laughs> so I had to get an Elder Guardian with a skeleton and a Shulker. Uh, to a spot in the overworld. Shocker was a pain. And then they never added the the achievement to Legacy Console Edition. And I was sad. So I did all that work for literally nothing. But it was fun! It was good times. But yeah, Elder Guardian moving. Big ouchie. Shulkers is, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a little bit more difficult. Getting them into the overworld? Um, Omega pain. They're just not made for it. And teleport everywhere? Ugh. 
You don't need to do it in the overworld, though. You can go to the end dimension. Then you don't need to move shulkers, which is really nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, we need a piece of ice right there. Well, that's inconvenient. Hmm. Yeah, that needs to be ice for this to work. Because I don't think it's going to have enough momentum. It's Well, let's see. What is your momentum? Be free, slime! Wow, it's very slow. Hello? Did I pick it up? Where does it get to? <laughs> I need to, like, stand back a little bit further. Just throw all that in there. Uh, we need to break that one. Oh, it doesn't even flow further than that. Right. I guess that's, uh, no, that's not gonna work. This is complicated. Don't trust me around water streams. My brain just fries. Let's throw in some more slime. Whoop. What are you gonna do? Did it work? Oh, it actually did work! Okay. I'm fine with that. Well, that's a, that's a good. Uh, let's try that from this corner over here. Boop. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Maybe. That one worked. That one worked. Oh, okay. Hm. That is surprising. I thought that that, that that block right there would kill it, but apparently not. Cool. Well then, uh, we can clean up this project. Get out of my inventory, slime. I don't want you. What have I ever done to make you think that I want you? Oh, then we got all that as well. I need to come back down here. <laughs> uh, we have an FOV changer for the zooms. And that is pinned in the Discord server if you want it. It's in the help channel. It's not, yeah, I mean, I made four slime farms, but that wasn't an invitation for them to, like, get into my inventory or anything. I don't, I don't actually want any slime. <sighs> Nobody actually wants slime. We just make slime farms because they're fun and squishy sounding. <laughs> I wonder how much slime we actually did get from that so far. Okay. Uh, so, we got an actual slice of the system specifically for slime blocks. Look how proactive I am. We are hooking up slime farms to the storage. Okay, that can go back into there. How do we get an extra powered rail? I don't know where that came from, and I'm not worried about it. I think I'm significantly running out of junk chests at this point in the world. I may need to invest into more junk chests. Or perhaps not. Maybe I should like build a storage system. But that sounds like a lot of work. And I don't feel like exerting effort to things that might be convenient. But well, this storage system is only for things that we're farming. So like every single slice of this thing is something that we're farming in this area. And there's like barely any doubles. We have two doubles for the fish and for the, you know, the fish. And then we got a double. Oh, sorry, those are the, just for the cooked fish. Then we got the actual raw fish. And then we got some doubles for the, the shards and the crystals. But other than that, there's no doubles in this system. Uh, like literally every single slice of this is something that we're farming. And then on the end here, we have things that we're uh, crafting down. So yeah, we're farming potions. Currently, it's uh, all this junk. We don't talk about that. We also don't talk about how these things are in slices that they should not be. Crafting table should not stack. Oh, now that's evil. No, get out of here. Take your, take your crazy bad ideas and get out of here. <laughs> we don't approve of bad ideas. <laughs> that's terrible. You're, you're just... You just want us all to suffer. I got a whole stack of 35 in here. No. Uh, do I have reject chests? I do. It's at the very end. Uh, technically, right now, these three are not set up because those are going to be customs orders. But that one right there is basically the overflow. Overflow, drain into lava. 
Sh saddles should stack. I don't see a reason for them to. They're pretty useless. Besides, if you want to sort them for a storage system and then burn them, in which case, yeah, they should be stackable. I feel like there's something else that we need to do. Oh yeah, we need to uh, actually put that slime into the into the system. We haven't done that yet. It's just kind of sitting back here. Random hole in the ground. Yeah, look at that. Boop. You know what? I'm going to fill that hole in the ground with a stackable crafting table. Because that's what I feel like doing. Potions should be stackable. Hopefully we'll see that in the combat update. That'll be nice. Okay, so this is going to go upwards. And over. Where exactly does slime need to go? Over there. Oh, so it needs to go left. Should have been told that before. Hmm. Do I want to take it up and then over and then over this thing? Over like the back side? Or do I want to take it down and underneath this side? I think I want to take it over the back side of that. Because otherwise we'd have to go over, across, then back, then up, then over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to do five churns. Uh, so that needs to go up, left, towards us, then right. Uh, and up again. Okay. Water streams. So let's take it over first. We're gonna make it be on this line right here, so... I need, I need some more ice for this. I need more blocks. I wasn't prepared for this kind of nonsense. Was that a slime? It was a slime. Packed ice. And then we got some more blocks as well. Great. So can't the dump chest contain contents into shulkers and then run them into the item sorters? That's too smart. I mean, we could just, like, take a line off of that dump chest and just, like... Now we want to send this up first. Hold on. Because if we send it over first, then we need to send it up again. I, I, I know these things. I'm smart. Yeah, there's basically an infinite number of things that we can do with our storage system. It's just a matter of how lazy we are, really. So, which one of these slices is for Le Slime? Let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth one. Which would be one, two, three, four, five, which is gonna be this one. <laughs> I sound surprised to see slime in my slime farm, but I, yes, yes I am. Okay then, so. Let's take it to here. I didn't grab a soul sand, because of course not. Why would I have done that? Sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to have done, but nope. Yeah, exactly. You always got to take the lazy factor into account when planning projects. Or when talking about things to do. It's like, yeah, we can do that. But are we gonna? <laughs> It's a very legitimate question to ask, and something that not enough people ponder. Oh, that's not gonna work. This needs to be a block over. Or that needs to go a block further, but I can't do that, so this needs to go a block over. And then maybe we'll move the, uh, the sign of the, the farm name somewhere. Okay, that's going to give the water enough area to turn to the left and then actually push those items in there. Very good. I guess we could have technically had it over and then just had another water source right there to push it all to the side, but nah. It's fine. Too lazy for that.
Hmm. Any tips on terraforming? I am not a builder person, uh, so I do not specifically know things about building. However, there's a bunch of people in the Discord server that are very much builder people and may be able to assist you in your building adventures. Oh, hi, that's just gonna go right around the corner and just flood. I knew that. Yeah, I don't really know the first thing about building. <laughs> Have you seen this area? Does it look like I know what I'm doing? I love these derpy eyes. Like one of them's just way taller than the other. It's great. Is that gonna turn around? Ah, oh, it didn't. It didn't turn around. There we go. Okay then. And then it just needs to go up. And there's water above the ear. Yes, of course. Of course, the last block that could have water above it has water above it. Which has thus ruined the sorting system. Big piston doors. That's something I don't really know how to do. Is uh, that kind of large scale like piston door tech? I, I've never really gotten into it. I don't really know what I'm doing there. Uh, Multi-piston extenders are very confusing to my brain. Like I can do a single piston extender. That's really straightforward. I, I, I figured that one out on my own. But doing a multi-piston extender, that's not something my brain is capable of at this current moment in time. <laughs> Do I not have any glass? Oh no, I just don't have the right color glass. It's fine, no one's ever gonna notice. So yeah, we're gonna run our hopper line directly into that thing. Boop. And that should be about it for this project actually. Okay, great. We are nearing completion. Boop. And we just need mo one more water source right there. Fantastic. Okay, that should be absolutely everything. And there goes some slime directly into the system. Fantastic. So this is actually working. Uh, we should probably put a block above this in order to prevent... Uh, those things from flying too far up and over. Great. I didn't mess anything up. Am I going to be in this MCC? Uh, I've never been in any MCCs. I don't think they like Bedrock players. I, I don't know of anyone that's been on there that's from Bedrock. But then again, barely anyone's from Bedrock. But everyone owns Java. Eat. I'm fine. I'm drinking tea. I'm getting my daily daily dose of calories and nutrients from tea. The end item transportation tube is wrong. Wrong! Goes up. Goes over. Goes around. Goes in. Goes up. Items go in. And another x-ray. I swear I don't try and do these things. It just happens. Oh, that's actually really cool with the, the slime. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Slime go in. Let's wait for a couple to go up. Assuming that the, actually, the water actually goes over. Does it not go over the hoppers? Oh, it's flowing the other direction. Yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? Where exactly are the items going? Is that gonna do it? Yeah. Yeah! There we go. It's going both directions. I'm not hacking, I'm just... It's just the, it's just the game. 
it's just the game being cool. Actually, it does look pretty interesting with the with the stuff over there. I kind of like it. X-rays are kind of fun. It's kind of interesting to see things in a different way. Especially with how much stuff we got underground over here. Like, what's up with that little pocket right there? There's a little pocket of air that just has a torch in it. Didn't know that was there. Apparently, it's got some water in it, too. <laughs> like, what's up with that? I don't know, man. But it's there. <laughs> and now I can never unknow it unknow it it didn't drop its piece of cobblestone either so i can't fill it back in so now it's just exposed forever anyway we need to grab ourselves a sign oh come on do i have any signage hmm yes i do slime this area is such a mess of water streams. I'm glad that we have this much area. I mean, we got the iron farms coming in right there. That was the first one that we built. Uh, so that goes up and over and goes into our items storage. As you can see, working pretty well. And then we have the bamboo farm coming over, up, and then all the way across the back side of this. That's actually one of the kelp farms right there. That's the most northern kelp farm. Uh, so this is pretty much as far as we can go. Any higher above this is just, like, basically ocean. Uh, so the other bamboo farm comes in from right there. Goes across, goes up, combines into here. And then one of the kelp farms it goes across. It, there's two intersections where it crosses streams with the bamboo. But since it's just items, they don't combine or collide. So, whoop. Uh, the, that kelp farm right there has its item output right there. So both of these drop here. And then, of course, the slime farm as well. I believe that's the last thing besides the actual guardian farm. And I still don't know how to collect all the items from that. Because it produces, like, what, 50,000 items an hour? It's kind of a few. Uh, I think... Although... Let's go up there for a second. I'm not sure what the overworld rates of that are. I think it's lower than the advanced. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Anyway, we're going to do some redemptions real quick, take a break from that nonsense, and then we'll get back to it in a couple minutes. So we got four standard hoppers up here, and these guys never back up, he says as he looks into three packed up hoppers. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think one hopper minecart should actually do it. And then, hopefully... Hmm... Yeah, so if one hopper minecart can pick up all the items... From the water stream down below... Then it would hopefully be able to auto-drop all that stuff directly into the storage system. And if it has more than 9,000 drops per hour... Then we would need to, like, maybe sort out the fish and then auto-drop all the prismarine and stuff into the system and then create a separate line to send in the fish into a different spot that way we don't overload the system because if you send in over 9,000 items in a single spot it's going to get overloaded but if you split that up across multiple spots then you can do 9,000 items like per per spot basically which is the entire concept of this uh of this farm really anyway let's do some redemptions we got 12 naming items and a weird flex. Uh, that's from King T. Is King T here today? Hello. I want to ask him where they want their weird flex. Name the netherite pick. Uh, BT7274. Memorial to BT. Uh, I don't think we have any more pickaxes. I want to name it after you. You had a tool way back on Silent Survival that was named after you as well so that'll be a cool throwback we have any that aren't named we oh we do have we got an entire set of diamond armor in here dudes what are you waiting for an entire set of diamond armor uh two helmets a pair of pants and two boots y'all haven't named these yet what are you doing Wait, your BT is a reference to 
the and oh, to the robot, not PT from chat. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> it's still fine though. <laughs> But now I want to name one after BT and the, and the, and the bot as well. Ridiculous. I'm terrible. <laughs> we have an empty chest in here? Hold on. That's not right. I need to fill that up with some junk. You said all tools and armor were named. Well, I didn't know. I thought it was. I completely forgot about this entire set in here. <laughs> Hello, Sneaky. Jeez. Oh yeah, stack of rockets. That's what we're gonna do. Stack of rockets for the lovely six point to knowledge. Party launchers. Boop. Thank you so much, six point. Uh, we gotta name a golden sword. I think I have some gold in this chest. And it's just gonna get named banana, right? Yeah, just <laughs> not banner, banana <laughs> from the meme duck. That's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's just banana. I guess it's probably the closest thing to a banana we'll ever get in Minecraft, isn't it? I suppose that is that is the truth. Uh, we got a bunch of new followers. Thank you all so much for the support. Let's see. We got a whole bunch of people. We got Hot Shotgun and uh, Stino Rose along with Nursing Geek and Izzy Potato. Uh, Lil Bo Meep along with Raspberry, Edu, Oh My Moguls. And we got Todden or Todrin, uh, The Real One Way, Jelly, Samurai, and Opofu or Opofo. I'm not sure, but thank you so much. We also got World and Mock Turtle, uh, Fizzled Fox, Sheep, and a couple others. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And welcome, Metal Hawk, as well. So many followers. How many followers do we have on Twitch now? Uh, 25,000. That's a couple. <laughs> Jeez. Quarter of 100,000. Very nice. I still gotta get a wither star, and I gotta name a- I don't think any of the slime farms are nameable at the moment. Let's go check out that area down there. Uh, just put a pillar of solid blocks, or any block, underneath all of your spawn spots, and then you won't have guardians underneath your monument. Okay, that one's a snot arm. Oh, this one hasn't been named, actually. Okay, well, there you go. We shall... We shall name it. And it shall be glorious. Boop. More signs. I fully approve of this. See, I need to put it, like, over of the center, don't I? This farm's name is... What are we naming it? Icky Gooey. Icky Gooey. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, if you just go hunt, like... If just go spend a day in the ocean, basically. Plop down a... You know, a, a conduit if you need to, but just go spend a day in the ocean. You'll get all the tridents you ever need. Seriously, I got like probably a hundred tridents just from building stuff in this area. It's kind of silly and stupid. Hello server, welcome back. Uh, optimizing on bedrock? Bedrock's already optimized. There's no add-ons to optimize it. It's, it's pretty much as good as we get. Uh, thank you, Jay's Pog, for the farm name. And otherwise, all the other name redemptions that we gotta do are things that we don't have. Hop time? 
pick was not named BT. That's because we don't have a pickaxe to name. They're both named. That's why. They're all named. Every single one of them's got a name. We don't have any others. Name a helmet? Alrighty. That works. Did I put down my... Put down my thing of stuff up there. <laughs> I need to get a different door out of that place, because every time I go out of there, I either miss the door, or I run into that pillar immediately. Boop! Alright, we are naming this. Also, I'm going to dislike this song, because it's uh, got words in it, and I don't like words. I don't like noises in my songs. BT 72, 74. Do you want a dog changer? <laughs> oh. Well, you don't like your dog. Rude. Anyway. So now the the question is, how in the world do we go about um, acquiring items from the Guardian Farm into not Guardian Farm? Because we don't want items to go up there anymore. We want them to go down into the storage. So, the main place that we can grab items from is going to be basically, like, right here. Uh, more or less in that intersection, or somewhere directly beneath it. So, if we go down here, we can grab items from a hopper minecart. Maybe two hopper minecarts, just, like, right there, just to be safe. And then it needs to go downwards and inside. Luckily, there's a bit of room that we can clear out. Any oh my god, these planks are still in here? And this, this is all from getting that Elder Guardian out, like, episode two. <laughs> Alrighty. We, we never cleaned that out. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, so if the items go down, 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 down further, down further. Oh, too far. Over. And then down. And then over again. And all the way further over. Uh, it's basically got to drop items all the way to the furthest edge of the monument. So, fifth block over. One, two, three, four, five. So it should be lined up with this conduit, I would think. Maybe six blocks over? Oh no, that's uh, this is probably it right here. Yeah, that was lined up. Hi, baby swine. Bye, baby swine. Don't worry, you'll survive the fall. Go. Hey, so adorable. <laughs> yeah, so we need to drop in all of the items onto this hopper right here. And that's actually going to be pretty straightforward. That's the very original input to the system. This conduit's probably going to have to move a little bit. But I think it'll be fine. Yeah, so this conduit, let's move that. Can we just move it up a layer? Or no, this is the outside of the monument here. Hmm. Hmm. Just make a hopper line going all the way to sorting system. That's why we're using water streams. We don't want hopper lines. There's a minecart stuck underneath the fish farm. Okay, yeah, I need to go check that out. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a bunch. Thank you. Uh, let's make a new intersection right here for the Guardian Farm. Uh, which means that we'll also need another intersection going through to there. So, we'll have to move that button. Yeah, that's gonna get moved back a block. Boop. How do you guys think the uh, the time lapse from today turned out, by the way? I haven't had a chance to read comments on that video yet. I thought it was mildly alright. It's kind of hard to edit the time lapses because of just how laggy it is. 
Like it just skips around a bunch and it doesn't really play most of the uh, the time lapse. It just kind of skips it. Where do we even need to be for this? Where are we? We gotta go left pretty far. <laughs> Old base theme, cookies and cream. New base theme, spaghetti. <laughs> yes. You haven't had a chance to watch it? bra Fan. <laughs> Are we gonna have to have another intersection? Or is this... Is this proper? Mm, no. Oh, yeah. No, we will. One, two, three. Three blocks forward and we'll be lined up. I Let's get her done. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go fill in the monument back down. <laughs> One, two. Hey, it's right above that. Very inconvenient. Uh, but we can actually have another water stream at a different layer. Because this, uh, you know, inside the ocean monuments, definitely, you know, got some three dimension to it. One, two, three. Yeah. I know how to count. I learned my AB3s as well. So don't be making fun of me for that either. <laughs> One, two, three, AB3. Right? <laughs> Uh, we play Bedrock Edition because it's fun. It's a video game. It has fun. <laughs> uh, my AB trees. I love it. <laughs> uh, we got another raid. Hello there, SJ Cryptic. How you doing? Thank you so much for the raid of 87. Hello, hello there. There's many, many raiders. How you doing tonight? We are working on the underside of an ocean monument, uh, building up some storage of technology for the Guardian Farm. Uh, so this area has like a bunch of things going on with it. If we go above the water, we got many things. But yes, hello everybody. How was your stream, Cryptic? Hopefully it was very well. And mini fun. <laughs> I can't do the words. I'm, I'm very bad at the speaking, by the way. So yeah, we got this entire entire thing. It's, it's got a lot of roundy bits to it. Oh, and the moon's, the moon's got issues, don't ask. <laughs> How long have we been playing Minecraft? We are, oh, I guess six years now. The channel's nearly five years old, though. We're about to have our fifth year on YouTube in like nine days. Oh my God, I gotta, I gotta get a special for that. Half a decade of YouTubing. <laughs> That's too much. But yeah, we got Double Mob Farm, Squid Farm, Quad, Iron Farm, Guardian Farm, Quad, uh, Big Ol' Farms with the Flying Machines, Double Bamboos, Double Kelps, Quad Slime, and a bit of nonsense thrown in for good measure. It's a, it's a whole lot of farms. So the last couple few days, we've just been working on tossing all the all the items into a storage system. So there's like a whole underside of the space as well, and it's just not decorated at all in the slightest. But that's what we're working on tying everything into. I guess I should show you that before we go back to the grindy insides of a nasty ocean monument. Whoop. Yeah, so we got our little slime sanctuary. It's so cute. We had another one. Where'd the baby go? <gasps> Did he die? Oh no. R.I.P. Baby Soylent. Anyway, so this area in here was going to have a bunch of super smelters, and hopefully that'll still get done. And then we got our four slimy farms in here. We just got done hooking those into the storage. And the entire rest of this area is very much not decorated in the slightest. But we got storage for everything, so that's all that counts. Hey, thank you, Cricket, for the wardrobe change. We got to switch to another skin. I got a lot of skins. Let's see, which one do we want to do? I like this one. I'm doing it. You have no say in this. <laughs> oh come on I'm falling down all the holes this is why we need to get some decoration over here because I keep falling everywhere it's 
It's my base and I still fall everywhere. The farm to end all farms. Is the slime farm worth making? If you need slime, um, if you're on a server, you can sell slime. Because everyone always needs a little bit of slime. I don't think making four slime farms is probably worth it, but I made four anyway because <laughs> reasons. <laughs> When you got four slime chunks in a row like that, you, you just got to do it. There's just no choice in the matter. It's got to be done. No choice. Uh, let's see. So that's going to run into there. And I guess I may as well go ahead and put the ceiling on this now. Do I have my sponges? I do. Look at that. Being professional. I need to place a button right there. Can I go? Oh, it, it removed all the water? Or no, I'm still... I'm still in water. It's very hard to see the water sometimes. A slime fountain? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's a fair reason to build a slime farm. The redstone box is very much down here still. Is that a quote now? Fair enough. <laughs> I approve the quotes. Let's see. We don't have any mine cards. So two of those. We'll take some of the hoppers as well. And then we need materials for an auto dropper. An underwater auto dropper is going to be a bit weird. I'm not sure how to do that. I guess we'll do something like this system, but then a dropper there. And maybe another observer facing upwards towards that dropper. Just to make it, you know, work. Or we'll just drain out a little area and just have some have some dryness. I think that'll be fine too. Not worried about it either way. Actually, you know what? We do have this little... It's too far away. I was thinking we could build something in there, but yeah, it's too far away to be useful. Slime spawning is complex. If you're trying to find a slime chunk, it can be. Use chunk base. Also, thank you, Dotty Man, for the host, and welcome all of our new followers. We got Killer Guy, cool, and we got Bara, uh, Aphelion, something like that, Asias. <laughs> And a couple others. I do not know how to say your names. I'm so sorry. Uh, we also got a disappointment. Is what I am. No, you're not a disappointment. Uh, we got Richard. Man, I cannot pronounce most of these names. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm letting you down. Let's see. A dropper. We will put that. Let's see. That's going to be a hopper minecart. That's going to be a hopper. So the dropper needs to go facing downwards on that block. I guess we could actually put the thing on the inside of the monument. Yeah, we could put a little room right there to clean it all out, to clear it out of water and then put our auto dropper in there. It'll be perfect. Okay, that should collect everything. Uh, we're gonna need a block right there to power that dropper. We'll read from the dropper right there. And then this entire inside area is more or less never gonna be used for anything ever. So we can do whatever we want. Okay, Comparator. And let's see what we can make work here. I guess I'll use the... No, I need to use a Comparator Clock for this one. A Observer Clock, I don't think it's going to be fast enough for the sheer amount of items that we're getting. You've been playing since about 2015? That's when, I'm, that's when I started as well, basically. Uh, I started on Legacy Console Edition on the xbox 360 the good old days good old days of 
Moin crafting. Now that can go underwater as well. The only thing that we can't put underwater is the redstone. Uh, but luckily we don't need very much of it. So we'll have to put some blocks there. And then we'll just dry out this whole little box right here, basically. And that's pretty straightforward. And that's pretty much all we gotta do. Boop. So, oh, is that not gonna work? That is just gonna have to work like that. <laughs> not perfect, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. We're not gonna question it. I swear, I'm a professional redstoner. I know everything that I need to know at all times. Let's just break out of here. Boop. So, if we throw. Why are those sideways? Aren't you on rails? I I placed down rails on those, didn't I? What happened to the rails? You guys saw me... You guys saw me place rails on that, right? Did I break the rails? Oh, they got flooded away. It must have been from the sponge. It must have been from the sponge, right? Surely. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> See you later, Jam. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I am crazy, Maximum. Thank you. Okay, so if we put an item into there... That should auto-drop. Why are you not auto-drop? Uh, apparently I broke that block. I thought I did, but the blocks all reappeared, so I thought I didn't. Anyway, that's all fixed. Mm, iron. Okay, then. We are good to go. We'll add some additional blocks there just for a symmetry. I might have to grab some more... <laughs> Uh, prismarine bricks from the inside. Just to make that symmetry really count. But then it won't be symmetrical on the inside. No! Yeah. That looks beautiful! Does Bedrock have a lot more bugs compared to Java? It has a lot more obvious bugs. Java has the same amount of bugs, but more often than not, they're not as obvious. Uh, you most of the time won't encounter them and just standard gameplay whereas bedrock has a lot of bugs that are pretty in your face for most players but then again a lot of players also don't notice the bugs either so it really just depends on uh your play style and what you do and in, in your minecraft day like most players aren't ever leaving the the early game and that's that's fine that's just you know part of how it goes am i gonna pick up that water or not is there water in here what's happening i lost my water but i didn't get it in a bucket okay <laughs> so like players that are in the end game uh will be a lot more likely to find bugs simply because they have access to more aspects of the game Whereas players in the early game don't have access to as many parts of the game. So they might not be as likely to find and or experience bugs. Okay, this area is really annoying. No! <sighs> See what I was saying about annoying? It'd be really nice if I could just swim with only a single layer of water at my feet. That'd, that'd be the greatest. Was the worst bug? I made a couple bugs or a couple videos on YouTube on the worst bugs. You know what? I'm just gonna dig down and then I'll just remove the water source and then I'll just put it back in there because this this is not working. My God, this is terrible. I hate everything about it. 
Jeez. Why is it gotta be so annoying? I've done this a thousand times. It's just being annoying because I'm streaming. That's why. There we go. Okay, so this entire thing needs a roof. So, how exactly are we doing this? This needs to round a corner, then it's gotta go through two different item streams. I love how, like, guardians are made to be the protectors of the ocean monument, and I'm just like, nah. I'm gonna make an entire farm over top of your beautiful ocean monument. It's gonna be super ugly. And then I'm going to instantly kill all of your guardians as soon as they spawn. And then I'm going to make a giant, super ugly water stream going through your beautiful monument to transport the dead bits of your guardians to a storage system that is also made out of dead bits of previous guardians. Yes. It's quite gruesome when you think about it that way. Welcome to Minecraft. <laughs> it's kid friendly. I'm disrespecting their space. Oh, I'm doing a lot of things. Okay, you, I'm pretty sure, do have to move, but you can't move upwards. Of course, I lost that block. Get back here, Prismarine. Don't go near the floating kelp. It's not safe. Uh, let's see. I need to concentrate. Please be quiet. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, let's just remove you. And then I'm gonna die from not having that. Okay. Can I put you, like... Can I put you in the center of this? Nah, it's not big enough. There's, there's one on each corner of this thing. <laughs> Several people in chat are calling me a monster. That's fine. I'm literally a monster. I'm a zombie pigman brute. <laughs> That's literally what I am. Uh, well, that'll work. Can I move it somewhere else then? Hold on. What about like right there? Nope. What about like right there? Nope. What if I put some stuff like right there? Or right there. Or what if I remove those? Or what if I put a whole wall right there? You're very demanding. How about if I put a whole wall right there? Right. Okay, then I put another wall right there. I just want to be able to see underwater. This is so difficult. How about that? Please. No. Okay. You're just big silly. That's all you are. You're just big silly. I'm just gonna put you over here. Where was it? Right there? Oh, now it's not happy anymore. No, oh, yeah. It just doesn't like me. That's all it is. There we go. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Just be, be there. Yeah. I'm picky. It's a picky little brat. <laughs> so demanding. Did, uh, yeah, we got haste 2 and conduit power down here, so... And an efficiency 5 uh, pickaxe. Yeah, I don't think they should be insterminable, but we can do it, so... Apparently, it's a thing. So, that's kind of cool. Doesn't like the glass. Well, you know what? The glass is beautiful! So, it can just get some better taste in life. Yeah, take that conduit. You got bad taste. Okay, so now it is time to drain the entire inside of this. And this thing has got so many intersections in it. <laughs> like, this area is actually a little bit convoluted with the amount of intersections that we have. Of different mob farms, like, overlapping on different water streams. It's kind of cool. Okay, so that is still needing to be removed. Uh, we will put a water source there. 
What's up with you? Oh, there's a block missing. So that's the Guardian Farm water stream. That goes above the Squid Farm water stream. Or no, sorry, that's the Mob Farm water stream. That one goes through the Squid Farm water stream on the other side of that wall. Uh, so this gets to the corner. And then, of course, it churns. And then it goes back through the Mob Farm water stream. So it kind of combines in that little T over there. And then it goes through to here. So this water stream for the mob farm then goes through this water stream for the squid farm. Goes in the storage system. This guardian farm keeps on going. And then it goes through the squid farm water stream. <laughs> uh, which also passes through the mob farm water stream up there. So basically they all crisscross over each other like four times. It's kind of beautiful. Hello Baron. Welcome to the stream. Have I not seen Dolphin Tail? Nope. So is that gonna work for items? Nice if I can swim. Boop. So none of my items are landing where they should. Of course not. We got another raid. Hello, raiders. Man, we keep getting so many raids tonight. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you, bird, for the raid of 139. We got a bunch of raiders. Uh, if you put too many things in the chat, then the bot's going to time you out. I'm sorry. Don't. I think you can put, like, four emotes or something. But, yeah, hello, everybody. We are working on some, uh, some storage technology for our ocean monument uh, guardian farm thing of doom. Yeah. It's got a lot of stuff going on. We actually just finished up the final water stream for the entire project, I believe. So you missed all the fun. Tisk tisk. You should have gone here earlier. <laughs> but yes, hello, bird. It's nice to meet you as well. How was your stream? Were you streaming Minecraft? Or what were you up to? Hopefully it was fun, no matter what. So yeah, you can kind of see some of the water stream madness that we got going on up inside of this farm. So this area above the social monument has like a bunch of different farms. So many farms. It's a lot of farms. Uh, we'll take a look at that in just a moment after I kill this dolphin. Yes, I am a monster. It's not the first dolphin tonight. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I even get out of here? Hold on. Let's see. I think I'm going to make myself a new exit. Boop. And that block floated up. So yeah, this is a Bedrock Edition. We have a, a Guardian Farm there, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get out of the water real quick. <laughs> you don't remember how how you followed, but it was just a minute ago. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh jeez. Guardians are a bit scary, especially on Java Edition. Bedrock Edition is not such a big deal. Anyway, so yeah, we got a little spoil. It's a spoil with circles. It's a thing. Okay, so giving you guys another tour. <laughs> uh, we got two mob farms up top there, the squid farm down there in the middle, four iron farms. It spoils down into the guardian farm there on the surface of the water. And then we got four of these giant flying machine farms around the edges, two giant bamboo farms, two giant kelp farms. If we go into the actual ocean monument itself, if I can rip tide, this area is still under construction at the moment. Uh, we got four shrimey farms, and this is the storage system, which isn't really all that impressive looking, but uh, it's got all the farms tied into it. You can see even more water streams. So many water streams. It's a lot of water streams, man. It's too many water streams. I've been in water streams for like six hours, seven hours. It's We've been in water streams for an hour and 40 today, and then I've done like another six hours. There's so many water streams. A lot of water streams. <laughs> anyway, water streams are boring. The outside of this is less boring. Or so I hope. Is there a sky squid? If you want to believe in a sky squid, then you are more than welcome to. Personally, I prefer spaghetti monsters. However, sky squids are equally valid and appreciated. I like squids. We got a squid farm even. That's how much I like them. 
So we actually just finished up the majority of this pretty recently. There's a few areas that still need to be worked on up here. Then look at that netherrack. It's all terrible looking. But for the most part, it's all mostly done. Mostly done. I really want to get RTX going. I got a laptop of RTX. But my main computer doesn't have it. I know it looked really good in RTX because it's got so many sea lanterns. There's no way for it to not look good in RTX. However... I don't know what it looks like. I haven't looked at it in RTX in months. Yeah, what well, RTX? <laughs> you thought it was a sky squid? I uh, yeah. It's been it's compared it's been compared to an octopus several times. Uh, so we actually built a little scale model for this thing over here. But technically, we've built two. This is the small version, or the medium version rather. I'm not a builder person, so we built this little scale model to try and help scale the base up. From there, I think it turned out pretty well. The entirety of this area has been built around the farms, specifically like distanced and everything to work perfectly. So like the iron farms work from anywhere, AFKing at the guardian farm up to the mob farm. Squid farm only works when you're AFKing at the mob farm. The slime farms only work when you're below the base. Uh, that way nothing's lagging out the area. So it's all pretty well optimized actually. But yeah, that's, that was the second one. It's been pranked. It's got it's got a it's got a growth. <laughs> this is the first cute little one that I built a couple months ago. The first cute little scale model. Look how tiny it is. It just so happens to fit within the circle too, which was not planned for. Anyway, we need to actually get the second account on the server, and then he can AFK at the Guardian Farm for a second. We can check out if our system is working. So give me just a moment to fire up the dude. The Mr. Silent, too. I sound like a guy you know? Well, I know you now, so I am indeed a guy that you know. And I sound like him indeed. <laughs> That's more of a rounded square than a circle. You know what? You can take your acute observations about geometrical shapes and just round on out of here. <laughs> Yeah, Silent 2 is on the laptop. Load into the world! He should be something. Where is he? Oh, he's drowning. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hold on. Gotta save the dude. He's not very He's not very uh, proficient in the, the act of swimming on his own. Dude, he, he, he would die so many times if it weren't for, for me. This is why I don't pay him. He owes me his life like 40 times. And no, I don't just log him out in bad areas so that I get to save him later. That would be terrible of me. I'm not a terrible person. Don't accuse me of being terrible. He's just uh, accident prone, so I save him. And then he just AFKs at farms for me. <laughs> we got a whole dynamic going. Anyway, hi! You want to show the people your beautiful face? Maybe? No, wait, wrong one. There you go. He's so adorable. He's looking kind of thin. He needs to do some more push-ups. <laughs> I literally kill dolphins. You're on Silent Two's side. This is um, this is acceptable. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Anyway, turn on the farm. We need to see what happens with all of these items. Do 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 do. He needs an arm day. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely needs an arm day. Okay, let's give that a second to get some experience up into the system. Let it let it get fired up. I should make this dude repair tools for me. Really put them to use. Hello. Okay, good. We are getting experience. I'll just take a little bit of that real, real quick. He's got 460 levels. He doesn't need no experience. You kill dolphins, keeps the squid spawning. That's a fair point. Yeah, if you want to get a bunch of squids, you gotta kill them dolphins. Can guardians actually hit you? Uh, I've never had one hit me, but yeah, these guys are actually shooting at you. If they stayed alive longer, then I think they would do damage, yeah. They got a whole bunch of blocks in between me and them, but because we are dealing damage to them, uh, technically, like, these are using Trident Killers, so I'm technically dealing the damage to them, which is how we're getting experience and looting. Then, yeah. 
it would they would they would be able to attack me they shouldn't attack through blocks but here we are okay how's this doing Mm, uh, not quick enough. And that just flooded all the redstone. I knew that. Oh, jeez. Okay, give me that. <laughs> yeah. And then that. So, it's definitely not quick enough to keep up with this, is it? Because that's a full, that one's full. I can break that and not have issues. Although I was holding looting. Hmm. I feel like, oh yeah, no, it's definitely getting, yeah, that's not enough. Okay, so we need to upgrade this significantly. Double droppers, quadruple droppers. Hmm. How do we want to do that then? I think the hopper's slowing it down. Seems like it. Yeah, this one hopper is not good enough. If we can move this to the right a block, I think that would probably solve it. Or, yeah, no, we would have to put that to the right a block, still facing downwards. Uh, then we need to put that hopper facing downwards into that block, this one facing downwards, into another hopper, which is right there, facing into the side. That way we get double speed, and then it should be fine. But even still, this is proving the, the point of the issue, which is that we're going to need to sort out the fish and deliver those separately into the system than the rest of the guardian drops, which is going to be an issue. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess we should turn off the farm. What are you doing? Silent 2. I guess we should get to trying to fix this then. Boop. Drop it there. Of course, it flooded my redstone again. I knew that. It's fine. Yeah, the single hopper speed is the issue, but if a single hopper right here can't keep up, then the actual system below isn't going to keep up either. Uh, so we do have to separate the fish at some point in the system uh, within the ocean monument itself, and then add those fish to the squid and ink farm line. The squid and fish farm line. And at that point, we will be able to use this thing at maximum capacity and not have any issues, I think. Here's hoping. Let's uh, let's see if that pans out. <laughs> Actually, we shouldn't need to move anything. Redstone-wise, besides this water, which is not part of the redstone. How many more times do you guys think I'm gonna break the redstone tonight for that? At least 12. I'm suffering from success. Yes, yes, indeed. I mean, it kind of looks like it's all flowing over where it should. We're going to put a button there and then put a water source right there. And then that should do it. Hmm. It's all gonna float there now. That's not really what I want. I want it to fall down. So much prismarine. <laughs> Is that gonna work? That seems like it's working. Okay. About seven more times. Okay, that seems about right, yeah. Uh, thank you to our most recent followers. We got a whole bunch of people here. We got uh, Milky Bear and Castilia, uh, Tiki, uh, Dark Skies, a Chewbacca, Bird, Beloved, Kina, and Macaron, along with Q1, Sus, and Black Sheep, Maverick Zero, Jew, 12 Zo, and XD Dopt. 
bopped. Something like that. Thank you guys so much for the follows and welcome to the community. We also got a couple others, or did I already read those? Uh, no, we do have others. We got Pixel Raid and Akato, Bean, Galactic Eclipse, uh, Debbie, Morales, Stephanie. Thank you so much and welcome to the community, everybody. We are very glad to have you. And I don't know exactly how to say your name. Perhaps it's Juzo. I don't know, but thank you so much for your prime sub. I really appreciate it. Also, I've just been making you guys listen to that clicking sound the whole time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I'm so used to, like, random mechanical clicking. I'm just like, ah, it's fine. Is this thing clearing out the backlog, though? Seems like it's kind of clearing it out. Okay, let's turn on the farm again and see if that handles it. Uh, actually, no, that hopper needs to be facing to the other side. That hopper needs to be facing like that for it to be a double speed system. And if it's not facing like that, then it won't be uh, proper. Did I lose my minecart? I lost my minecart. I can make a new one. Click, 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 click. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, that's how we know it's working. So, I mean, whatever, right? Okay. Turn the farm back on. And then I gotta get on out of here. So that I can actually spawn some guardians. Because we are far too close to this. It's true the bedrock's silent. Things click. Yeah. Okay, let's go up to here, shall we? Whoop. Actually, that thing's gonna spawn mobs as well. I need to go down to here. For them to not spawn up there. Gonna mess up my sorters? It's fine. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. Uh, we also got Gibbles and a Desert and Without. Thank you for the follows as well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, that should be enough time to see some items get collected. Let's see how this is going now. Still very much a full. So that one's actually collecting all the items. That makes sense. That one should fill up first before this one gets items. Which means that we kinda... I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, because that thing's always gonna pull at one times hopper speed. Uh, so we need to wait for that one to fill up. Okay. More time! More time AFKing to get more items. We gotta stress test the system, basically. I'm gonna hold looting as well. Because, of course, that means that we get the maximum drops from the farm. Do, do, do. And then we gotta wait for things to happen. Still a bottleneck at the dropper? It could be. Yeah, it could be. Do, 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 do. You gotta wait for things to happen. And that's called AFKing. <laughs> uh, we got another wardrobe change, actually. This one is from Cricket. Oh, no, we already did that one. Unless you requested a new one. But I don't think that's possible. Use four hopper minecarts. Either way, it would still be the same the same issue. Uh, that first one's always gonna get backed up of items. And then the next one will. And that next one does things at double hopper speed. Okay, now let's hop down there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so we only really have two times speed capacity. It's not really a, a an issue of the dropper. It's an issue of not getting things into the dropper fast enough. Have I built the gold farm in truly bad rock yet? I've not. I've not indeed. So these things are basically always going to get built up. Which means that we need more capacity. So what we could do to fix this situation is we could have three hopper minecarts. One below that block, one below that block. 
and one below that block here. We can have the dropper be directly right there. Oh no, sorry, move it a block further even. And then we would have three hoppers going into it at a time. And that would more or less solve the issue. Now this farm mostly produces fish. It has the side byproduct of prismarine and crystals. And we need to sort out that fish first. Now lucky for us, this thing drops out one item each. So we should be able to sort out the fish mostly. It's very clicky. Uh, let's turn off the farm. <laughs> and we gotta we gotta move all the stuff over yet again. Okay, that's one more time that I broke the redstone tonight. Does that count though? Because I need to completely tear it all out and re redo it from the ground up. I guess it does count. Had four droppers. I don't think that would do much. The, the droppers aren't the, the backlog. The the bottleneck. Everything else is the is the issue. Collection speed is mostly the issue at the moment. Okay, let's throw out more items that we don't need. Why don't I just pick up those things? Yeah, if you power a hopper in any way, shape, or form, it's going to lock the hopper. You don't need anything specific or anything. Any way of doing it's going to work. Soft power, hard power, doesn't matter. If it's powered in any way, shape, or form, it's, it's not going to collect items or move items. So how do I want to power that? Hmm, powering that's going to be a bit tricky unless we make it face forward, in which case we can power it from the underside. Facing forward's a fine, fine deal. And boop. Okay then, so now we can use a repeater right there to power that. Uh, without powering any of the hoppers to the sides of it, we can use that comparator to read from that. And then we simply need to get a comparator clock in here somewhere. So let's do... Hmm, how do we exactly want to do this? It's kind of a interesting area to work with. Interesting situation indeed. Hmm. How do you get parents off your shoulder? Uh, you gotta like jump crouch and stuff. Jump crouch fall. Kind of deal. <laughs> Just jump all around. Act like a crazy person. They'll, they'll get the message. They're like, man, this guy's crazy. Then they'll, then they'll get out of there real quick. Oh, is going underwater? Yeah, that would probably work too, actually. I'm not sure. I haven't messed with parrots in, like, forever. Okay, so three pieces of redstone dust right in that area. And then a couple more pieces elsewhere. How do you get the guardian head? It's an add-on from a Foxy No Tail. You can find it on his website. It's really good. There's uh, player heads as well for the Truly Bedrock members, but those are not downloadable. That's kind of a private pack. Let's see. And then... Do I need more bricks? I need more bricks. I, I need more bricks. Give me some bricks. Boop. There we go. Just feed cookies parrots when you see them. No! <laughs> Don't do it. Poor parrots. Never did nothing bad to no one. They just don't want to leave you behind. Because you're the first true friend they've ever had. 
They just want to stay with you until death do you part. Because they love you that much. That's that's the story of parrots. Okay, so if I do a good old... Good old fashioned sponge! That should do all that stuff. And then... Yeah, this is some very fancy redstone right here. I'm aware. <laughs> Uh, but it'll get the job done. It'll get the job done. So it's very dark in here. That needs to be on subtract mode. Okay. So now we just need those three minecarts. Boop, boop, boop. Here's hoping this actually works. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm not sure what the next thing to do would B. Because this is about as advanced as we can really get the system in this small amount of brain thinking time. Okay, and plop. <laughs> Turn on the farm! Flick the lever, silent too! Oh yeah, the creepers do make or sorry, the parents do make creeper sizzles. Ah, oh, so adorable. You can't hate them for that. They're just trying to warn you. They don't want you to die while they're on your shoulder. They're like, hey, don't do that. I have to move. I do have to move. Boop. Assuming that this thing actually is auto-dropping and giving items where it should. I don't think I ever set it up to drop items where it should. Yep. Pretty sure this whole area is just a uh, right mess. Uh, so there's already a button there. We need to put a water source into there. And then... Can I just get a piece of glass right there or something? There you go. Actually, that needs to go down a block. Yeah, that needs to go down a block. That button is too high up. It's kind of weird how that's a thing. Okay, there we go. That should fix everything. Cool. Now I need to move. Hello, Cubs. Welcome to the stream. Whoop. Okay, then. Hopefully, that's the solution that we're looking for. Uh, we can also see if items are getting past that. I don't think they'll be able to, but who knows? Uh, very possibly. He leveled up. He's got 465 levels. 465. Do, 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 do. So yeah, we gotta wait up here for a moment just to see what's happening. So how have you guys been doing today? Good? Bad? Mildly decent? Let me know. We also got Snyderico, Caden, and Ags with the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the silence. Am I going to retake RTX mode and streams? I need to get an RTX graphics card first. I don't have an RTX card anymore. I had one in February, but then I sent it back. It's too damn expensive. You're sleeping? You should probably get yourself some rest then. Sleep is a good thing. Far more important than, you know, not sleep. <laughs> okay, that's probably about, about right. Oh, I wasn't holding looting. Oops. I don't have access to that dropper anymore. I guess now I do. Yeah, so the dropper is still keeping up because we're using that comparator clock. Uh, the hoppers are very much... So that hopper is always going to be backed up 
uh, pretty much because that's where the vast majority of the farm inputs items to this water stream and bubble column. Uh, these two are only going to get items from, or sorry, this one right here is only going to be picking up items from two of the cells, that one and that one. This one's going to get items from the middle cell, the very center of the farm, and it's going to get any excess items that that one can't pick up. So this one will occasionally get items in it, as you can see here. Uh, but for the most part, this one's going to be getting the bulk of everything. Does it not even need a ceiling right there? I guess I don't need to put anything above that. All the items are still going down? Okay, it still works. <laughs> I kind of thought I would break it by removing those blocks, but apparently not. Hey, we got diagonal back again. Gifting some more subs to the community, this time to Ectropic Frog. Very nice. I like the name. And now you can use the frog thing come out. This is beautiful. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diagonal. Uh, we also got Megadalon with the follow as well. So, is this going to work? The middle ones. Ooh, it's starting to pick up some items. Yeah, that one's starting to get a bit overflowed. And this one appears to be, you know, getting rid of its backlog. Oh, maybe not. We might need a fourth hopper minecart. <laughs> yeah, we might need one underneath this block. <laughs> I'm not sure how that would work, though. Because it would just be putting items into that hopper, which is already maxed out. I guess if any of these reach a full stack, then we'll know it's broke. Also, I'm, I'm blocking a lot of the spawns right now, so I don't think this is going to be good enough. Rips, I might have to come back to this at another time and uh, try and fix it up then. Think of some different solutions. I don't really know what the rates of this are. So, once I know the rates, I can help get some uh, get some better solutions. Also, are these double speed sorters? No, these are only single speed operas right here. So, I don't know how these things always keep up. Like, these things never get backed up. It's always, you know, one hopper and then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. They never get backed up of items. Or maybe they do and I've never noticed. I don't know. We'll uh, have to sort that out. Let me see. Silent Whisperer, Expert Guardian Farm. I can never spell my name. I butchered it. Let's see. What are the rates of this? Don't play the actual audio of the video. Thank you. Did I make a rates part of the video? Mechanics, tutorial, star. I didn't do the rates. Where's the rates at? Rates. Did I put anything fancy on screen? There we go. So, rates of this farm should be a whopping, staggering... If I can find it. Hold on. Gotta get to the correct part of the video. Uh, another only two players. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, did I pass it? Do, 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 do. I might have passed it. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta look at my own video for these things. I, I, I'm aware of the irony. I don't know where the rates are. Here it is. Overworld, only one player. Uh, minute 22 seconds to level 30. 40,000 total items per hour. So we do need, uh, let's see, 18, 27, 36. We need five times hopper speed item collection. Five times hopper speed. So the majority of that's gonna be fish. Yeah, five times hopper speed. That's a few, isn't it? Padrock rates are always single digit. Ha! Huh. Five. Just five items. <laughs> yeah. Hopper minecart in the middle of four hoppers. Yeah, the issue with that is um the items in the water streams 
How is a single hopper minecart if it's off center going to collect all that? You'd have to have two hopper minecarts next to each other, over six hoppers to do it. And then how would you feed all those hoppers in? So like if this is the ice stream right here, right? And then you got your your two hoppers right there. Do I have any hoppers? Nope. Uh, sponges are hoppers now. So if you got your hopper minecart dead center of all of this, it might miss items that are traveling along that very far edge right there. I don't know if any items do travel along that edge, but that's a that's an issue. So you'd have to have six hoppers. Uh, six hoppers underneath these two ice as well. And then a hopper minecart here and a hopper minecart there. And then you'd probably have to have two droppers. Yeah, and then sorting out the fish. Guardian farm sorting is just a pain in the butt, honestly. I just keep it going up that way. <laughs> Line of chest or something. Yeah, we would need to. Uh, all of these items on this side should be aligned to the left side. And then this is the main crossroads right here. So all of those items are going to be aligned to the right side as well. So the most part, they should be lined up right here. Uh, this area right here is going to be the main issue. So some shoot going that way, some shoot going that way. And they're mostly going to be going down the middle. Yeah, one hopper minecart might collect it all. As long as we got that four times speed unloading. But that's only going to give us 36,000 items per hour. We would need another minecart as a backup to get that extra 4,500 drops an hour. So you'd still need two hopper minecarts and five times unloading speed. And then I think that that is probably too fast for a single dropper. 